Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to our phase 365 concepts. This is the sixth video of this entire series where we are talking about Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant, MFC Mappy tool, and Calcheck tool. If you're watching this series from the beginning, we have discussed what is Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant, what all issues you can fix using this tool. I have demonstrated you how to install Microsoft Support and Recovery Assistant. I have explained all the options available within this tool. I have demonstrated you how to collect and analyze advanced diagnostic logs using SARA tool. We have discussed MFC Mappy. We have discussed multiple scenarios where you can use MFC Mappy tool, like how to delete emails, delete folders, rename folders, hide or unhide folders, troubleshoot out of office issues using MFC Mappy, how to troubleshoot issues related to recover deleted items folder, and how to troubleshoot retention policies and retention tags issues using MFC Mappy tool. In this particular video, we are going to talk about CalCheck tool or calendar checking tool. We will discuss what is CalCheck tool, in what scenarios we can use this tool, and I will demonstrate you how to use and run CalCheck tool. Calendar checking tool or CalCheck tool is basically a command line program. That means this tool runs on command prompt. This doesn't have graphical user interface. This tool is used to troubleshoot calendar issues and free busy issues. If you have corrupted calendar items in your calendar or you are facing issues with free busy availability, you can use calendar checking tool. So let's download this tool and let me show you how you can use this tool. To download CalCheck tool, go to browser and type download CalCheck tool. Go to this link that is microsoft.com link calendar checking tool for Outlook. Click on download and this is on the bit version of Outlook that you're using. If you are using 32 bit, go to about Outlook and you can check here if you're using 32 bit or 64 bit. In my case, I'm using 32 bit, so I will download. 32 bit version of CalCheck tool. Click next. And this will download this tool. Let me minimize the browser. Now you need to extract this folder. Let me first create one folder here. Extract it here. So there are two ways to run this tool. Either you can double click on this icon that says CalCheck, or you can use command prompt to run this tool. But if you're going to double click on this tool in this way, you will not be able to use switches along with this tool. And the other way of using this tool is go to command prompt. So to run this tool using command prompt, what you need to do, right click on CalCheck file, go to properties and copy this path where this file is stored. Go to command prompt and here type this path. Now you can run here DIR, it will list all the files. Those are inside this folder. So that means you are in the correct folder. And to run this tool, you will type calcheck.exe. Now, as I said before, this tool has few switches. If you want to know all these switches, I'll share the link in the comment section and you can go through these switches. But let me explain some of the important switches that we frequently use in Calcheck tool. So we have minus P, like this, hyphen P, that is used for profile name. Then we have hyphen F, this switch creates a folder within your Outlook profile with the name CalCheck. When I'll run this tool, it will create a folder in Outlook 
just here where you see your default and custom folders here it will create a folder with name calcheck and it will move all the corrupted calendar items within that folder and the next switch that is available is hyphen r that will send you an email with calcheck logs you will receive that email in your inbox and that email will have an attachment where you can see all the calcheck logs so in this demo i will be using hyphen f and hyphen r hit enter now here you will see your profile name if you have multiple profiles click on drop down it will list all the profiles those are configured in your outlook so select the profile and click ok now this tool will run few diagnostics based on the calendar items that you have it will generate the report if there will be any corrupted item within my calendar it will create calcheck folder in my outlook but in case there is no corrupted item in your outlook client or in your outlook calendar or if there is no problem with your calendar in that case no folder will be created now here you can check the logs as well it says checks outlook calendar and items and reports problems calendar calcheck will move flagged error items to the calcheck folder in the outlook folder list if there are no problems then no folder will be created processing calendar for concept user this is the name of the user for which i'm running this tool found zero items in this calendar there is nothing in my calendar this is just a test mailbox and for further logs you can go to this location calcheck folder and you will find the file here first let me show you the calcheck folder so you see here excel file it's blank because there is nothing in my mailbox you can check the logs from here as well this is the notepad file that is generated within the calcheck folder you can see here start date and time when this tool was initiated it was run opening mailbox concept user this is the location error resolving the name in the address book for the concept user there are multiple users in the address book that match this is my user account issue i have multiple accounts with the same name and next you can see couldn't access the root folder you can find the errors as well what was the error error code found zero items in the calendar skipping the action no non errors or problems were found finish what how much time this tool took to run this or to process this mailbox we can see these details here as well apart from this as i said you will receive an email this is the email that you will receive this is the attachment the same file that i just shown you in calcheck folder you can see these logs here as well so depending on the issue you can use calcheck tool to troubleshoot calendar and free busy related scenarios if you have multiple calendar items in your uh, calendar or in your mailbox if you have recurring meetings sometimes recurring meetings those are created for years multiple years those recurring meetings get corrupted so in those scenarios as well you face issues while accessing your calendar or sometimes you face issues deleting your calendar items because those are corrupted apart from that if there is an issue with your calendar the users of your organization or the external users will not be able to see free busy your availability your calendar's availability so in that case also you can run calcheck tool so that this tool can collect or it can find out the corrupted items from your calendar and it can move to the calcheck folder and later once you will analyze those items within the calcheck folder you can delete those items to resolve the problem related to calendar and the free busy so if you have learned something new from this particular series please write in comments and subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you for your time take care